Today I'll be showing you guys two very fast methods to level up your character to the max level 50 rank and also level up your street cred to the max level 50 in Cyberpunk 2077. These methods will also level up any of your combat skills that you use, handguns, blades, annihilation, all of them. I'm also giving away a copy of any game you want every single day here on the channel. All you need to do to enter is like the video, leave a comment below with your Twitter or Steam username and you need to be a subscriber to win. So a lot of people don't realize this, but your difficulty setting actually affects the amount of experience you get when you kill an enemy. So if you turn the difficulty all the way up, you'll actually get more experience for a kill than if you had it on easy. So make sure your difficulty is set to very hard. Now you may be wondering, well, how do I kill enemies on very hard difficulty? Well, luckily a weapon exists in the game that will one hit kill everything in the game, no matter the difficulty. I already did a video on this, but I'll show you guys how to get it once again. Obviously, if you already have it, just skip ahead. The timestamps are in the description because I don't want to waste your time. So the first thing you need to grab is over here on the map in Haywood, right in the southwest, you're going to find a ripper dock just here in the corner of the map here. Come and visit this ripper dock. And once you do arrive, you'll actually be able to purchase some tranquilizers off him, which are very important for this guide. So as I was saying, just go ahead and trade with him and you can buy these tranquilizer rounds from him for 540 eddies. After you've brought that, you're going to want to come over here on the map to Watson, and in the very south, you will find another Ripper Doctor just here on the map. So you guys can see, he's right next to the Bradbury and Buran fast travel point. So from the fast travel point just here, just turn around and then come through this little neon sign here, and this is how you get to Vic's clinic. That I suppose you probably should already know by now, but either way, we're going to go inside and we're going to grab this launcher mod from him. So just come in and trade with Vic. And then click on your arms just here. Now, just so you guys know, to actually buy the projectile launch system, you're going to need to have 20 street cred and 15,000 eddies. Now, if you carry on watching this video, I will show you how to get that and how to do this method without buying this anyway buy that as soon as you have enough eddies and then you can install it in yourself. Next we're going to go ahead and exit out and you're going to go into your inventory, go into cyberware just here and then click on your arms. Then what you need to do is you need to click on the tranquilizer we brought earlier and you need to replace it for the explosive round. Now you'll be firing tranquilizer rounds and these one hit kill everybody in the game no matter what their level, no matter how much health they have, it's absolutely broken. So now you guys are set up with the projectile missile launcher tranquilizing darts, I'm going to show you guys the first experience farm location and it's just here in the south of Night City in Pacifica. Once you get here you're going to want to zoom into the map and you will find a clothing store just here in the south. This is the starting point of this farming location. I'm going to show you guys the whole route now, but starting out from the clothing store. Go ahead and save your game just here, just in case. And then what you'll see is all of the enemies lined up along the wall here. Make sure that you have your difficulty set to very hard. That will mean that you get the maximum amount of experience for killing the enemies. So we're going to start out here in front of the fashion shop over here. Now I recommend sort of coming to the left side here so not all the enemies can see you at once. Then we're going to go ahead and shoot them with our projectile launcher like so. And then just slowly come around the corner, kill the rest of these guys before they even know you're there pretty much. And then there's two mercs at the back there you can also turk out. Oh, we're already 37 street cred. As you guys can see, they're still alive, they're still moving, and this is the point where you're actually going to go ahead and shoot them in the head, and it actually counts as you killing them twice. So you get experience for killing them once, and then again. So just go ahead and finish everyone off. Any damage you do to them will immediately kill them, and also do the same to the mercs as well. So you basically get double the street cred and pretty much double the experience as well by doing that little sort of technique. Now you will see some enemies just here that are also going to spawn. You can take those guys out next. 
but for some reason they didn't spawn this time around. Don't know why. Then up the stairs here, you're going to find three more enemies. So take these guys out. Watch for the lady with the shotgun. And then just go ahead and shoot them again, like so. And then you can see these other guys in the distance there. Just take them out. Use this pillar as cover so you don't get hit. Because this is obviously on the hardest difficulty, so if the enemies do hit you, they will still do a lot of damage. Already at level 38 street cred, my god. And now you're going to see an enemy standing on the balcony. Sometimes two will spawn there. And then you'll see another two enemies spawning on the other balcony just there. To take them both out from a distance. Usually they won't even like trigger to you until you come close enough. So it's a pretty safe method too. So we're going to run up here. We're going to shoot this guy first. Like so. And then we're going to come and find these two guys. And we're going to shoot both of them as well to finish them off. And go ahead and reload again. Now, obviously, I'm doing this with the assault rifle, so I'm going to get experience with assault rifles. You can also use a katana or a baseball bat, um, and it doesn't really matter, you know. It, essentially, it just makes a difference what you get experience with. So retrace your steps just here and take out these guys who are just here in a group of three. And then just slash them a single time with the katana to save stamina. My god, what the hell, dude? Like, I can't even believe this method is so efficient. Now we're going to run down the side of the building. I also recommend making a save because obviously these enemies can kill you in one hit. And if they do kill you, you have to redo everything again. So let's take out these enemies right in front of us. Like so. And just slash them once with the katana to kill them all. And then jump over the balcony here. Run straight on. And you will find another three enemies just ahead of us. Take out these guys next. I mean, they don't even react to me at this point, which is really weird. There we go. And they will sometimes drop epic items as well. So make sure you pick up the epic items. You can obviously sell them, deconstruct them for materials, or so on. We're going to go straight on and right around the corner of this apartment. And you'll see another three gang members just here. Take all of them out. I mean, you guys can see I've kind of just stopped bothering picking up things now. And you have like a pile of different epic collectibles and rare items on the floor here i mean pick them up and deconstruct them if you want but i've just kind of stopped bothering there's another guy on the corner there and then you'll see three more just here uh so we can take those guys out and then obviously just slash them all as well and don't forget this guy and now you'll get back to the shop and we've done the full route Everyone has respawned. All of these mercs have respawned once again for you guys to do another route. So you literally just repeat this route over and over again and get tons and tons of experience. As you guys can see, I'm already level 25, already level 40 street cred as well. So it is ridiculously fast to level up using this method. I do have an even faster way linked below in the description though, which actually uses a glitch method. This method obviously doesn't use a glitch, it's just using the basic game mechanics, so it will never get patched for that reason. Now do bear in mind that if you have already finished the Voodoo Boys questline and sided with Netwatch, the Voodoo Boy gang members that you're killing right now will actually all be dead, so you cannot use this farming method. And instead, I've got another spot you guys can use located here still in Pacifica. Let me talk about the next method. Okay, so next I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest method to train your combat skills. And you guys may be wondering, well, Danny, you're level 50 and you're street cred level 50 now. Why do you need to farm skills you're not even using? Well, if you actually look closely, for example, at the cold blood skill, I've only got level 1 cold blood. And as you can see, if I get to level 2, I get a crit chance boost of 10%. Level 3 gives me a 3% increase to armor. Level 4, 5 gives me 2 additional perk points that I can use on my other skills. And I also get an increase to health by 10% and so on. So it's actually well worth maxing out all of your combat skills using this technique that I'm about to show you guys. Now to do this second method, you're going to need to come here on the map to Pacifica. But this time in a different location right at the beachfront here there are tons of gang members that always respawn after you do like a loop that i'll show you guys in a moment and then all the gang members will respawn and you can constantly kill them and farm them for different combat experience 
You can also use the projectile launcher method here as well, but I'm going to be talking about how to rapidly train your skills. Now if you are under level 20 and coming to this location to farm up your character, I first recommend watching my guide on how to get over 6000 armor rating, which will essentially make you completely invincible, so nothing can really kill you then. You can do that for free and I'll link a guide below on exactly how I did it, it shouldn't take you too long to actually do that. But after you've done that, pick your weapon of choice and then come over to the beachfront here. As you guys can see, I am literally like just near this fast travel point called the Pacifica Pier. So this is the route you guys are going to be taking on screen. We're going to start off killing these three people here at this little beach hut. And then there's a party taking place with a bunch more gang members we can kill after this. Now I've been doing some testing on very easy and also hard mode. And how that affects the skill level up system in Cyberpunk. And it doesn't actually seem to make a difference. It seems to be that the more you use the different skills and abilities the faster they'll level up. So the more damage you're doing with shotguns, the faster you'll level up your annihilation skill, for example. So right now, the gameplay you guys are seeing was actually shot on normal difficulty, and I didn't actually see any increase or reduction in the experience gained because of this. So after you've taken out those enemies under the underpass, you're going to come over here to what looks like a bar, and there's a few more enemies to take out here. Then we're going to run straight over here to this car and you'll see even more gang members for us to take out here. After they're dead, we're going to run over here to the next sort of, I don't even know what you call this, like decking area on the beach. There's some more gang members to take out right here for us. Can't hide from me, woman. And then, just over here at this sort of uh, house, we can kill even more gang members. And the nice thing about this is as soon as we go back to the start of this, they're all going to respawn once again for us to take out. So it's very easy as well to do. And once again, just like the first method, you guys can go ahead and pick up all the legendary items and epic items that these guys drop. I do believe it's pretty dependent on what level you actually are though, so... They won't be dropping epic items for you if you come here at a lower level. Now if you dealt with these guys, there's a little party going on with even more gang members just here for you to take out. And then just here we have even more guys to kill. Oh my god, that reaction. After you've taken out the guys at the houses, jump back onto the beach and then we'll be able to kill these guys over here. Oh my god. As soon as you have cleared these guys out, in order to make everybody respawn, you're going to go ahead and run all the way over here to where that pier is in the background. Now, I'm still sort of specializing exactly like how far you need to run away for everyone to respawn again, but I tried fast traveling away and that does not work. So what I'd instead recommend is literally just running to the end of this pier and back again and you'll find everyone will once again respawn. You essentially have to leave like the game cell and then everyone respawns again. But there just happens to be some enemies over here so you can just go ahead and kill- Oh my god, two epic items, girl! Very nice. Might as well kill these guys while you're here and make it super efficient. Level 5 cold blood. And we started at level 1, guys, so I mean, pretty damn rapid leveling method indeed. You can also jump attack with these as well, but yeah, I just... I'm lazy. Because if you jump attack sometimes, it does the animation a bit too often, and the animation with these is a little bit annoying after you've been playing the game for a while. So yeah, after you've killed everyone here, you're going to run all the way back... And now you can do like the whole beach run again and everyone will respawn for you to once again kill. So as you guys can see, these guys have respawned so you can go ahead and kill them. And all of these other gang members have respawned too. So have all these others just here where like this party was going on. So literally just work your way back down the beach and there you have it. You have... 
literally come up with the ultimate farming method. Regina Jones, if you don't stop calling me, I will block you. Now, as for all the other skills in the game, like hacking, technical ability, engineering, and so on, I will be doing separate videos on how to level those up. For example, athletics is a nightmare to level. But this video was all about leveling up your character and getting the maximum amount of street cred as quickly as possible. I hope you guys found it helpful. Subscribe with the bell icon for future cyberpunk content and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video.